So, a few days ago, I made a video about cool Harry Potter gifts. And then a few days later, my husband surprised me with this. The Lego Hogwarts Castle and Grounds model. This is a set for adults. It does say age 18 plus. It is meant to be a model that you can display on a shelf, not a model you can play with. It has 2,660 pieces, so it's a very large set. As I was opening, I saw bag number 22, and I thought, whoa, this is a very large model indeed. Lots of pieces. I did find two mistakes that I like to tell you about so that you're not frantically looking around for non-existent pieces or miss a detail. The first one's right here, step number seven in the first booklet. The box at the top shows a piece that you don't actually need or use. It looks like the picture was just left there from a previous step. That first piece you do not need or use in step number seven. And in the second booklet, step number 260, a part that is needed is missing from the box at the top. Be aware that on this step, you will need this small green wedge piece. After the first 11 bags, you will have completed the foundation of Hogwarts, the rocky foundation, the lake, and the basement rooms. Yes, you can see some of them in the back. Here is the potions classroom, and then right next to it, the mirror of a rise room, the chessboard room, the flying keys room, the devil's snare, and right there, the chamber of secrets with the basilisk slithering out of Salazar Slytherin's mouth. Very cool, right? And after 11 more bags, you complete the whole model. The second part is actually easier to build. You can see it includes the golden statue of the mysterious architect of Hogwarts at the front, the dormstring boat coming out of the lake, the home pen willow with Ron's car still stuck there, and the Bow Bottoms carriage flying above it all with its flying horses. Really, really cool. Now, for size reference, it is about 14 inches wide and 9 inches high and 10 inches deep. So keep that in mind so that you can find the best place to display it. It is a beautiful build. My one advice, pace yourself. Enjoy all the details as the build slowly grows. Happy building!